All right, so I'm currently making quite a big decision uh, according to my trip to New York. I had been thinking about it for a while, but I was like kind of checking in and everything. And like today is like Cyber Monday, so there's a whole bunch of promotion. So they're like, it's funny, so it's it's the pass, it's like a tourist pass to just get access to a whole bunch of things for about $300 for 10 days. And since I'm gonna be there for like three weeks, I'm like, I can take the 10 day pass and make it worth. There's like food on it, there's tours, there's plenty of things. So if I wanna keep being active, I think buying that pass is good. The thing is, like most of the year, they always say on the website, oh, it's minus 80% or whatever, uh, minus $80, and it's supposed to be $400, but whoever pays $400 for that pass is just completely wrong, and it's just, it's not, nah, it's never $400. So most of the times it's $320, I'm talking US here, and... And it's like, uh, I've been looking at it and it's always 320, 320. I found one website that you can use a promo code. I'm gonna like, kind of like give you the details on the, probably the description or anything like that to have a good tip. Uh, and, and so you could, I was able to like get it around like 290. Here on Black Friday, they go $20 lower, so it's 300 instead of 320 minus the 10%. I'm able to get that pass for 270. Note that because of the $30 discount of the Safe 10, I'm not buying it on the like sightseeing pass website. So I think there's like a $50 coupon that I'm not getting. I don't know if I'll use it anyway or if it will be fitting my case, so I'd rather take the $30 right away and not get the $50 coupon that I might or might not use. Anyways, that's something uh, I thought was interesting to say. Okay, so I'm gonna buy that thing. Uh, do I share my screen? I'm just trying to think, kind of like doing this on the go because I just saw that it was $20 cheaper today. So like I'm gonna show you here with just a camera. So basically there is that website, Sightseeing Network. And you can, I'll put the link in the description. And there is that website. If you buy it on that website, you get, I think, $50 less. And so there it is. So it's three ninety nine because it's month month Cyber Monday, and the Save Ten coupon is like minus thirty percent. So you you win about thirty dollar. Okay, let's let's do it. I'm not gonna show you my bank details. I'm not that dumb. But yeah, I hope it's a good deal. The thing is, I avoid those kind of like. Tour, very touristy thing, but it's New York, you know, I'm of course I'm gonna go to a touristy place I've already been there three days, so there's a whole bunch of touristy thing that I I don't have to do kind of thing uh, Or I can do them in a different way because I've already done them and can like kind of go at it in a different way so yeah um, I'll just go and do that and for at least 10 days of my trip, I'll be a huge tourist in New York and do all the very touristy thing. But I'm gonna try to think of a way to just making it my way, you know? Not as a 100% tourist. Like, I'll be a freaking tourist, but why? Anyway. Okay, so that was my good deal for today. So. That's about it for this video. Uh, this kind of tips is not really my 
thing. I don't do a lot of like promotion and tip thing. I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of like anti-consumerism and the fact of like giving you those kind of tips. I don't like the spreading of it, the way it's done on the internet. I don't know. It's some, I feel like it's kind of pushing for consumption. Uh, that was something I had seen like just as a disclaimer for the fact that I'm not pushing for consumption. I've been watching about that past for the last <clears throat> couple of months, basically. So from that, my message is when you buy something, whenever you buy something that's more than $200, think about it, you know, just check. Does it really fit me? Am I going to make it worth? Will I use it? Anything. It would be a pass, would be some gear, would be whatever. If you buy something brand new, just think about it and make sure you're going to use it. And that's actually fitting your needs. That's what I usually do. That's how I'm able to kind of like try to be minimalistic and not spend, but still have nice things and not spend too much money on them. Usually secondhand end. And yeah, just be mindful of your expenses and don't spend things that you didn't share the value of it. Anyways, that's it for the lecturing. That's twice some lecturing in a row, but I don't know, that's me. Anyways, thank you for watching. Remember that if it's easy, it's not funny and see you in the next one.